Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to more Ultra Mad at Skyrim. Brightened up my game a little bit. Well, technically I tweaked my OBS settings. In game it's not as bright. I might make it normal again once I'm outside, I guess, because you know I'm wor I worry that it might be too bright outside, I don't know. Anyway, I'm ha I'm having problems fighting stuff because I'm too low leveled for this shit. <laughs> Um, so we have a Dwarven sp Sphere, which I assume we looted last time, right? have no idea what I'm supposed to do with these things, to be completely honest. Because, like, are these numbers? Like, what are they? Let's see, what's this? Oh, amazing follow- I added that. I added a few follower mods, because I forgot about them. What's this? Lucifer the Argonian, okay. Spell tone. Where's the oh the secret code? Seven six four eight. Hell knows where I'm supposed to um, use it. To be completely honest. I mean, like seven. Oh, this. Oh. Well, I did something. Don't know what <laughs> I did. Um. Am I supposed to look around, maybe? Do these do anything? You would think they do, but they don't. <laughs> Let's see map. Hmm. Oops. I mean, maybe one of those things opened. I'm assuming they open, right? Cause like, how am I supposed to to do that? Anything over here? Nope. Maybe something happened over here. On the second floor. Where's my audio, so... Well, nothing's over here. I mean, I did something. Hell knows what I'm supposed to do next, you know? Um. Okay. Oh, look, I'm opening stuff, I think. Oh, great, let's see. Took me a while to figure this out. Dwemer plan. Candles, I mean... I guess I'll take them. Should sell them when I have the chance. Dwemer folio. Scroll of fear, gold ingot. Armor, a pile of gold. Let's see. Not as good as my chitin armor. The heavy boots are better than the one I'm wearing, but these have the stamina uh, enchantment, so, um, you know, but I might as well put on these gauntlets. I guess. By the way, what kind of weapon am I using? Oh. Sword and magic, I guess. Well, let's get the hell out of here. Mm. 
Hopefully nothing will attack me. You know what, let's summon our dad. Might as well raise my conjuration, you know. I guess I'm supposed to go this way. I can't wait till I get a follower. Because I need help, I literally need help. <laughs> I'm assuming I probably won't get a follower in this place, although maybe, who knows, you know. Oh? Oh? Oh hell no! <laughs> I am stuck! Ah, okay. Oh shoot, oh shoot, where the hell am I? I have no idea where I should run. Because I literally... I wonder if I would... If I would go through this, would he follow me? See. I'm hoping he'll follow. Yeah, great. Yeah, yeah, follow me. <laughs> I'll use the same tactic <laughs> that I used last time. But like, I, I mean, I don't have a mod that would, you know, change the difficulty of the game, so now I understand. How strong dwarven spears are actually, <laughs> I guess. Because usually, in the main game, like, you're at a much higher level when you start dealing with these guys. You know? I don't have a magic potion. Whatever shall I do? Oh, he's not dealing as much damage to me right now as he did before, which is nice. You know? And I'm level 4. Let's see. Should I do health or magic? Let's do health, maybe. I would prefer more magicka, but... You know. Can do... See alteration, enchanting, smithing, heavy armor. Should they do heavy armor? Maybe. Probably would be good, right? Although I haven't really decided. I guess I should use heavy armor. I don't know. You see, robes would be good also for a mage because they have good enchantments usually. Maybe I should do my one-handed actually. Do a little bit more damage. Well, I'm super weak. You know, if I can outsmart them and climb up to places, I won't have many problems. Why is their battle music still playing? Let's see. Might as well summon you again. Okay, hopefully I'll find another place where I could climb, where I wouldn't get myself killed, you know. <laughs> I could do this, I guess. Technically they wouldn't reach me, right? See how smart I am? I surprise myself sometimes, you know. <laughs> this kind of remind me of Nern Roots. Weird that I can't pick any of these items. I swear to god I will jump into the water. Well so far there aren't any enemies. 
Oh, chest. I don't have a lockpick. Where does this lead? Um. Oh, I guess I should. Oh, okay, great. I will not explore. If I can get the hell out of this place, I will. Because again, I would be. I would prefer to be at a higher level for this stuff. At home, I am lost. What's glow? Why is it glow? Let's see, let's take off the helmet. Zethry. Hand the books to the recipients. Let's hand the books first, I guess. I don't want to get yelled at again. Whoa. Okay. Let's wait. This one needs something. Shannon asked me to bring you this. At last! Nearly five years has passed and now he's paying me some attention. I used to own a copy myself, but I spilled a very smelly potion on it. I had to throw it away. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. So I can't buy anything from her, huh? Now, if you'll excuse me. I assume she would, you know, sell stuff. Maybe because, you know... Council Hall. Let's go there, then. Am I giving the books to? I don't even know. How do I know? I. Yeah. Ever Milo. Need something? We managed to find the book you ordered. Excellent. Fellowship of the Temple will make a lovely addition to my collection. Give my thanks to Shanath. I'd better get going. Speak. I haven't got all day. Is there somebody else in this place, or...? I mean, it's showing me this way. Oh! Here's the you book you something? asked Janet for. Yeah, yeah. Didn't think you'd ever bring it to me. Anything else? When will I be released? Such you free. Such arrogance. You are the property of Master Seldry now, and you are to carry out his orders. I mean, I know I'm not the Dragonborn I'll yet, but like, can't I kill him and escape? Like, there should be a way to escape. You know? <laughs> I don't understand why. <laughs> why can't I do that? Like, okay, I'm low level than whatever. What if I really was the Dragonborn? Like, <laughs> you know, I don't know, level 80 with the best armor or whatever, and I would be still like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't like. I'm trying to cope somehow, I guess. I don't know. Let's go to Master Shannon. Let's see what he'll give us. What kind of job he'll give us right now. He'll yell at me probably. He seems to do that a lot. Well, look who decided to show up. Where the trolls have you been? I'll tell you and you discussing. What did you tell him? That you're a huge asshole. We had no such conversation. You dare lie to me, you sleazeball! This bastard has robbed me of a He has robbed me of my work! And now he's trying to rob me of my servants! Get out of my sight! Now! 
And don't you ever come back! Out of my house! Scram! Does this mean that I'm free? Who are you? Stop! You're supposed to be my loyal servant and do my bidding! Uh, instead, you plot against me! I will burn you alive for the swarm! What's going on? So brief, let this N1 go at once. Go make yourself useful. The last thing we need is slaughtering someone. I'll stand behind her. <laughs> Damn you, Marissa! Oblivion take you and your damn city! Damn you all! Jeez. Hey, servant. Find me in the council chambers when you have a moment to spare. We need to talk. Could I just leave? I'm useless, basically. Why can't we speak here, you know? I guess I have to go in there and wait for her. Let's wait for an hour. Hopefully she'll teleport. She did. There you go. Now we can talk. When you were just brought here, I asked Erva to look into your past. Of course we didn't find anything remarkable in you. But it seemed to me you were a worthless Enoir. We came to the conclusion that you would be more beneficial as a free citizen and a member of our great house. We have the power to set you free of your shackles, to rip apart that amulet around your neck. We can grant you your freedom. You may choose to leave Sadrith Kegran and never return. But I have a feeling that's not what you'll do. We want to ask for your help. Master Yen Lu told us what happened in the library. I fear that our respected colleague, Master Selthry, is losing his grip on reality. We worry- Come on, Erva. He's obsessed with the Dwemer. He fell off the rails some 50 years ago. What if Selthry woke up all the calls off? What if hordes of Dwemeri automatons invaded our town? We heard the alarm signal from all the way here. Shanath completely lost his fear and caution. We have known for a long time that he has conceived something, and it is unlikely this will end in good. Do you want me to kill him? Sitting on a powder keg. I ask you to speak with Yen Ilu and report to us about any suspicious activity of Seldry's. First, you should wait some time until Shanath comes to his senses. I hope he doesn't try to kill you when he finds you are no longer his servant. Will you help us in exchange for your freedom? Well, not like I have a choice. I will help you stop Shanath. Sadrith Kagrin will not forget your service. From this day forth, you are free to go wherever and do whatever as a recognized citizen. Talk to Yen Ilu. He's waiting for you outside. Right, a cage behind you in the far corner. Your belongings are within the chest. We did not touch them because we decided to get to know you better. How about, the, how about I just kill you all day? <laughs> I could tell Shanna about your conspiracy. No, uh. Farewell. <sighs> I won't push my luck. Let's grab our stuff, I guess. Is it showing me my items? Yes. I'm assuming I have better items right now, but still. I will leave, I have to level up before I continue this quest line, cause like, it's too difficult for me to be honest. I I feel like if I would have to battle Shanna, he would destroy me cause of the magic, you know? Okay. Damn, I can't really carry a lot now, can I? I'll take the staff. Because it's actually expensive. Black helm, bloody black boots, an iron shield. Mm. Mm. These two, because they're expensive. Potions as well, my huge potions.
I guess I'll be good enough for now and take everything. I, I think that the items won't disappear, so you know, I can always come back to them, I guess. So let's, I guess, speak to that guy. And let's just leave this place for now. That Obviously, I'll do ears. I congratulate you on regaining your freedom. Follow me. I will put you in the picture. Yeah, I want to leave. I don't care about your whatever. Do I have what's this custom destination? We have reason to distrust Shanath. Our paths had parted many years ago because his rash actions would cancel all. How do I leave? Legend Where's the exception of Cedric Kigral? Oof. I'm sorry, jeez. I wish he would run. Where are we going? His house, maybe? Um... Mycelium, huh? The existence of Cedrith Kigran is made possible by the synthesis of two technologies, the traditional Telvani architecture and Dwemer Engineering. Uh-huh. We're, we're going back to that goddamn forsaken place. Regretting following him, to be honest. I remember installing a mod which makes the 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 people that you have to follow run. He's not doing that, so I don't know. Maybe this touch, you know, other mods. I have no idea if that's possible and whatever. Here we are. Behold, a great Dwemer wonder. A H O. Take a look around. Then we can continue our talk. Can't I just... I could probably leave, just... You know, and he would wait for me. Should I take a detour? Or should I see what How he... Assist? What he'll tell me and then, you know... Probably can't enter this, but... Oh no, I don't want to do that. Would not want to fall down there, I guess. <laughs> um, looks cool, I guess. Doesn't it? This better be good. I'm just waiting for you. Okay, so he entered the film. Letter from Shanaf. How dare you! I pull you out of the Nord's hole, give you a chance to do something great, and you dare betray me. I will stomp you to powder and disperse the AHO, the corpus plane over the turbines. Jeez. Wouldn't it be easier just you know, to kill him? 
you know. Do you Hi live there. inside this film? I'm all ears. What is required of me? Shanath is unlikely up for a conversation now. It appears he's locked himself at home. He's working on something. We must stay ahead. Shanath wants to start the Aetherium core of AHO, although he has no direct access. A long while back, he laid his hands on an activation cube, as he thought the only one of its kind. Where he hides it, I do not know. I had discovered another cube recently, but it wasn't configured, nor did it hold an Aetherium core. I have a clue on the whereabouts of a core and how to tune it, but first... I must finish one extremely important experiment. You can do that without me. I would like you me. to go to Bakauzov. First to the laboratories, and then to the animonculary. Some time ago, I had found and translated a guide for tuning activation cubes. Here's a diary providing a detailed description of your task. Questions? I no, no, no going. questions. I'll just leave. I'll explore that place once I'm definitely at a higher level, because I'm just too weak. I need better spells, I need more health, I need more potions and whatever, you know. So, what I'm thinking is I should leave this place, I should start the main quest line, I guess, you know, get my shouts activated and whatever. And, uh, you know, get a few followers. And just be essentially prepared, you know? <sighs> now where is the exit though? Maybe that's the place. Oh, Skyrim, great. So that's why, okay. Oh my god, finally. I'm out. Oh, giant, I will not annoy you. Okay, let's see, I will deactivate that. White run, huh? Let's see. Riften, I would love to find a carriage and. Should I make my way to Riften, maybe? What's with the custom? I mean, it helped me, but, you know, to find the exit, but. Maybe I should make my way to Riften and then. Use a carriage to, to go to another place. I have some gold or do I not? Yes. So I can then enter the city, which I think I'll have to bribe my way in. Sell all the stuff that I don't need. And I'm good to go to Whiterun, maybe? Then make my... Oh, hello there. Okay. I guess it's time to do some good old-fashioned mountain climbing. Because you don't want to fight the whole fort. Mainly because I feel like I might be able to deal with them. But... Um, I'm kind of over-encumbered, almost, so... Let's see if I can do anything over here. Come on! I know I can cl- Okay, okay. Okay! As long as I don't kill myself. I mean, it's logical, right, that I'm climbing these things. They look climbable, so... You know? Damn, the game looks so nice. Let's see if I can actually do this. Visually, it doesn't look that steep, so you'd think I would be able to do it. Well, I guess I'm doing fine right now. What's this? Enemies? Wolves? 
Oh, it's a little bit laggy. Okay, why is it laggy all of a sudden? It was fine like a few seconds ago. That's the what? last of them. Who are you and why do you look so creepy? What's a milk drinker like you doing out here? Go home to your mother. You shouldn't talk to me like that. Why? What are you gonna do? Cry? Back off now. I don't have to take that from you. You don't actually, so. Never should have come here. Watch her kill me. <laughs> burn! Burn! Burn, my game is laggy right now all of a sudden, so just die. Maybe it has a lot of things to load, so... Or maybe I just chose too high textures for some things. Let's see. Um, actually, a good price for that, but... But, 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 but... I guess I'm fine. Hopefully it will go away. Let's quick save. Because I don't like... It doesn't look that bad, to be honest, but it kind of is. Maybe it's because of the amount of trees, because like everywhere else it's normal, but... And when I was testing that game, it was also normal, so... I didn't take any textures that were 4K. <sighs> Mainly, again, because, you know, it wouldn't lag. So, I don't know. Oh, okay, it's fine again, huh? That one area. No, that was interesting. Now it's normal. I have rested Riften. Windhelm, so we're going this way, I guess. But damn, it looks so realistic. I just love it. Oh, I did notice you're an enemy. What the hell is a skiver doing here? Part of me wants to install a realistic needs mod. You know, so that I would actually have to eat, sleep, and whatever. I feel like that would be nice, but I'm not quite sure. So, if people who are watching this Let's Play are interested in that, you know, because I guess it would add a little bit of difficulty to the game. Maybe I should do a poll. Okay, now I have a disease. I... So I guess I don't know. Comment down below if you should add that mod. It shouldn't break my game, I think. I feel like I'm going to Iverstead. Okay, good enough for me, I guess. You know, it's actually nice not being able to fast travel to the main cities, like in Oblivion, you know. You exit the sewers and you can fast travel to all of the main cities without finding them. Unless you have a mod that, you know, takes that away. But it's nice to explore and find new places. Snapleg cave discovered. We will check you out later. Once I offload my stuff. I have no idea if I'm going the right way. Watch me suddenly appear in more Thalons or something. <laughs> Wouldn't be surprised. But it's so so good to be outside, I guess, because like, damn. That place was definitely unique and beautiful, I guess, but... Again, I have to level up. I have to improve my character. Part of me wants to maybe join the the College of Winterhold first. Because I am going to use magic, so...
That seems like a good place to start, I guess. Maybe. Who are you? I'm on my way to Windhelm to join up with the Stormcloaks. Ulfric has the right of it. I don't care. This time around, as I said before, I will join the Imperials. Seems like somebody already looted at that place. All right, hand over your valuables, or I'll gut you like a fish. Walk away right now. <laughs> nice try, but you don't scare me. Then you'll die. I'm not going to ask again. I'd rather die. Then I guess yeah. that's your last request, fool. <laughs> Did that guy really yell, I'm getting out of here, the one that's joining the Stormcloaks? And he's afraid to fight a thief? Yeah. Oh, I finally got some lockpicks. An opal. That's from Amada, I'm assuming, right? Because, oh. Nice. Steel dagger studded armor. Could take that for some money. Oh, look at her butt. Maybe a leather hood also. Here and there somewhere, but I'm not gonna look for it. What's this? White run, Riften. I first did. Huh? Who yelled that? I don't know. I guess I have to go this way. See a wolf. Die. Elgin. Iverston. Well, good, I guess I'll at least have Iverston on my map. I don't remember if I had the mod that that's carriages and whatever to other random places, because I think I did, but I might be remembering stuff wrongly, so, you know. Let's see, Iverston that way, Helgen this way. As well as white run. <laughs> Would be nice to spend the night at the end. Not have to travel in that town. I think I see the town. At least I see houses, so. I think that's the place and it's loading kind of. Huh? Oh, that is a bear. South Wind Collar Pass. Wow, fancy. Okay, I'm assuming there's no shop here. Because <laughs> there's literally a house, another house, and an inn. So you know. Six PM. If there's anything I can get you, just let me know. Let's add a little bit of realism to our playthrough. I'd like to you. rent a room. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Tell me about the barrel. There ain't much more to tell. They're haunted, and you should stay away. Uh -huh. Look, I've seen one of the spirits with my very own eyes. When it glared at me, I swear it burned right through my soul. Did the spirits haunt your town as well? Fortunately, they seem to be sticking to the barrow. I think they're guarding it. Uh huh. Certainly isn't helping my business any. Who'd want to rent a room anywhere near a haunted barrow? I could investigate for you. If you think there's anything you can do, be my guest. 
I'm looking for work. Got any leads? Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. Where can I learn more about magic? Sir, I've got no interest in magic users. I didn't ask no that. No use for their kind at all. They're way up north in Winterhold. And that's fine with me. I don't even like our Jarl having a court wizard. Uh-huh. Heard any rumors lately? There have been rumors of suspicious activity around Helgen. Oh. Legion patrols have been spotted in the area. Any more rumors? I heard tell of a lad in Windhelm. Aventus Aretino. They say he's been doing the Black Sacrament. Trying to contact the Dark Brotherhood. Damn fool. Any more? Have you seen that shrine of Asura? They say the Dark Elves built it. After they fled from Morrowind. Sight to see. Has anyone ever explored the Barrow? About a year or two ago. Some fella named Windelius came through. Said he was some kind of a treasure hunter. I warned him not to go in there. Just like I warned you. The very next night we heard screams from the Barrow. Oops. And that was it. We never saw him again. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. I think my OBS is stuck one second. It froze for, for some odd reason. Hopefully it continued recording, I guess. Pardon me, my lady. Would you care to hear me play my lute? Not really. You... I can barely see. Should make this place a little bit brighter, jeez. Let's still sleep for 12 hours. I guess I will be exploring the barrel, but a bit later. Because it's always a nice quest to do. But um, you know. I think I saw it again. That ghost. It was over by the barrel. Y'all are really speaking when I'm sleeping there. Jeez. Imagine you rent a room, you go to sleep. And they start yelling. <laughs> about the barrel. Jeez. If you ever settle down to have children, think twice before you do it. Okay then, let's see when we'll call it pass. Pillar of Annihilation, oh, that sounds not dangerous. Helgen. Should I make my way to Helgen first? I guess. But... There should be a mountain pass here, right? I have to walk around. I guess I have to walk around, maybe. Although there was a road sign that showed Helgen over there, so... Let's make our way there. Today's episode will have a lot of walking in it. Probably not a lot of battling compared to the walking, but... Still. Welcome to Walking Simulator 2.0, I guess. I'm just joking, of course, but... Still, this game has a huge, huge map, so... Okay, let's see White Run. Riften, okay, Helgen's the same way as White, White Run, basically. Which I mean, obviously. Judging by the sheer amount of times I played this game, I, this game I should know that, but like... You know. Oh, wolf. Burn to death. They're gonna, they're gonna help me raise my destruction skill. Which raises us very, very slowly, because the amount of times I used magic and it's just not... Let's see, where is my destruction? It's almost there, I guess, kind of. Kind of, not really. Maybe I should just, you know, 
double equip the spell. Wait. I mean, right now I have I'm dealing with a weak enemy, so what's this? Alchemist Shack. Oh. Loot you later. Yeah, I guess I'll do all wield spells for now. Until I'm in a pickle. And I'll have to use my weapon, you know, my sword. I do like the, the road signs being added to random places. Actually really helpful. I think Frost the horse should be in this place, no? Or is he at random places? But I feel like I always find him here. And I never know if, if you know... If he is, at least I'll find out if I fixed my horses. Because last time they looked purple and weird, you know, so... <laughs> Don't like that. Oh, this Salmor. doesn't you, citizen. I don't care about y'all. I'm too weak to care about y'all. <sighs> L literally can't be bothered. This some kind of cave. Haymar shame. Well, I think the horses are fine. Great. <sighs> I didn't install the mod where it lets you see your feet, so it's kind of weird for me right now, because I'm used to it. I guess. <sighs> Far away am I from? I guess I'm getting closer. It will be fun to rebuild Helgen as well. Because I remember having that mod. Did I have it in the last playthrough? I, maybe I had, I actually don't remember. I know I had it in one of my modded versions of Skyrim. Whoops. But like, it will be actually fun to, to actually fully do it, you know, or at least try. Okay, I think we're almost there. I see the gates, finally. Finally! <laughs> Here we have Helgen. Investigate Helgen. Oh, well done. Looks cool. Very purple and glowy. Completed and bound. This is definitely much more fun than the regular, you know, vanilla start. Because after the first three times it gets so annoying. <laughs> okay, let's look around, I guess. Has it been burnt? Are there any survivors here? Who knows? I don't even know if I'm going the right way. Walking in zigzags and whatever. No? What do we have here? A burned corpse. The body turns to ash as you touch it, but somehow a leather journal survived the attack. Hell knows how. Let's see him. Okay, this is the bounty. Adventurer's journal, I'm assuming this. This journal contains several updated entries. I think that's what it says. First century. Hard to believe I filled up that whole journal already. I never realized how much of Cyrodiil I hadn't seen yet. So much diversity and so much destruction from the Great War. A lot of history has been lost here forever. 
The expedition is ending soon and everyone will be returning home. I have one last task to perform before I do the same. I'll send the other journal ahead with my supplies and the artifacts we recovered, second entry. I've received word from my contacts in Skyrim, I'll seem quiet for now, probably for the first time since High King Torek was killed. I should be able to make the crossing quietly enough during the night, so long as there are no Imperial patrols to deal with. Third entry. So much for being discreet. I crossed the border near a small village called Helgen and made my way up to Darkwater Crossing. Unfortunately, I can't get back to my camp now because the area has filled with Imperial patrols. It seems they are searching for some someone very important. If I'm not mistaken, someone they intend to ambush here. This could be the very thing I am seeking here in Skyrim, but crossing the border in the dead of night without passing through the checkpoints has turned out to be a very bad plan. Fourth entry. I woke early this morning with an imperial sword pressed to my neck. Joel found me camped under a rock, outcropping on the edge of the volcanic marshes. I guess I wasn't as well hidden as I thought. I have no idea where they are taking us, but I've been stuffed into the back of a rickety old cart being pulled by an even more rickety looking old nag. At least they let me keep my journal. For now. Fifth entry. How long is this for now? Shores bones if only I had known sooner. The ambush, the captives in the cart with me, Stormcloak rebels, led by none other than Ulfric Stormcloak himself. There's no time to explain properly, I scarcely believe it myself. If it hadn't been for the dragon, it, it'd not even be here to write this. I'd not even be here to write this down, I cannot read today. Like always. Yes, a dragon, big black as large as the towers of the keep itself. It swooped in out of nowhere and laid waste to the village and the keep. General Tullius didn't take my head today, or the heads of several Stormgold rebels, but that doesn't matter now. Hadvar and Raelops set aside their differences to help the survivors they went into the lower keep hours ago. Something about caves with a back entrance. I don't think they're coming back. I'll have to see if I can get out of the city and down to the river of wood. Someone needs to warn them. This building won't remain standing for much longer. Still can't believe it. The dragons. Straight out of the legends. Nobody back home will ever believe me. Yeah, well, you're dead, so... So, you know. Oh, jeez. Oh my god, I don't even want to deal with this right now. I guess we're supposed to... Investigate the cave mentioned in the journal or warn the residents of Riverwood about the dragon attack. So, what I'm assuming... Is if we check the cave... I know I'm not assuming anything, I guess. But like either had far or real off, we choose which one we want to save, so let's go look for them. Would be fun if we could save both, you know, which I mean. Where's the entrance? Yep. Oh god. Damn the caves look so much nicer. I'm enjoying this game so much right now. Why did you come back? What did they add? How do you think I, when I played with this mod before? Why did you come back? I came to see what was going on here. Are you mad? You need to warn Riverwood. Quit messing around and get down there. What? No, you don't understand. <laughs> no. You don't understand. Oh, to oblivion with it. You're here and I need help. I need a healing potion before I can go on. Once I'm back on my feet, we can go together and warn them. So long as that dragon isn't still out there. Mm, have you got that healing potion yet? Yes, I have one right here. Excellent. I'll take whatever you have to offer. I'll give you the shittiest one. Thanks. That's much better. Look out! Damn. That was close. We should get out of here. I like how... Rayloff was laying there. And the moment... The moment I gave a potion to this guy, rocks fell on him. Would be the other way around as well if I... Um, gave the potion to Rayloff, you know. This guy would have died by the same rocks. So <laughs> funny how life works out sometimes, right? 
Looks like he's gone for good this time. But I don't think we should... I don't know, every four minutes it seems like my game, not my game, if he comes back. will be as free as this. closest town from here is Riverwood. My uncle's the blacksmith there. I'm sure he'd help you out. Like right now, it's already frozen it's as well. It's probably best if we split up. Good luck. I wouldn't have made it without your help today. I checked it like a few seconds ago and I don't know why it does that. The same was with my webcam. I mean, hopefully the... I have to check, I guess. Well, I kind of figured it out. It freezes. The OBS screen freezes. But like... Uh, well, not the screen. Listen. That shows the video, it's like normal, the but like the time or really whatever, you know, like you. it most definitely freezes. Like right now, can stop them. when I stopped the first half of this recording, it like showed me like 24 minutes recorded or something like that. I checked the video file, it was 57 minutes, I think, which obviously is more logical because like. I definitely recorded for longer than 20 minutes, you know what I mean? But le at least it records normally, so I like See that. that ruin up there. <laughs> I'm happy about that. Bleak Falls Barrow. When I was a boy, that place always used to give me nightmares. Because I was kind of afraid, you know? Draugr creeping down the mountain to climb through my window at night. That kind of thing. I admit, I still don't much like the look of it. Finally, the standing stones. So basically, I turned on These the timer the on my phone stones. to know Three how long the episode will be. Although I don't know how long this one will be. <laughs> Go ahead, see for yourself. Oh, can I? I will annoy your head, far because I will choose a mage. Those under the sign of the mage will learn all magic skills twenty percent faster. Yes. Mage. Eh? Well, to each his own. It's not for me to judge. Isn't there a way to have two t standing zones at the same time? Something like that? I don't remember, to be honest. You're a slow head of our. You really are. There is some kind of enemy over there. Is he stuck? Head of our. Let's not deal with. Okay, let's go. You decided to come with me. We're almost to Riverwood. That we are, my friend. How does this work? I don't know. Ha. I think a tree might be missing. <laughs> Because the mushrooms are floating. Okay, finally, Riverwood. Things look quiet enough here. Come on, there's my uncle. What? What is it now, mother? It was as big as the mountain and black as night. It uncle, are you feeling like sick? Dragons now, is it? Please, mother. Yeah, my OBS screen like froze again. Weird. Sure. And Bones. I've got better things Don't to know why do. Why that? Your fantasies. Shh, uncle, please. Kind of Keep your voice down. I'm fine. But we should go inside to talk. Feigned What's going on? Camilla Valerius and who's away this? from me. She's already She's mine. A I keep telling Saved you. my life in here. Okay. Come on, I'll explain everything. Imagine we need walking to up inside. to a random person and seeing that. Okay, okay, come inside then. Sigrid will get you something to eat, and you can tell me all about it.
Looks like somebody didn't know how to put the cabbages in the cart. <laughs> Should I have by the store real quickly? One of us has to do something. I said no. No adventures, no... Yeah, well, I don't know what you overheard, but the Riverwood Trader is still open. Feel free to shop. Did something happen? Uh, yeah, we, we did have a bit of a, a break-in. We, we still have plenty to sell. Robbers were only after one thing. An ornament. Solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. I could help you get the claw back. You could? I've got some coin coming in from my last shipment. It's yours if you bring my claw back. Now, if you're going to get those thieves, you should head to Bleak Falls Barrow, northwest of town. So this is your plan, Lucan? Yes. So now you don't have to go, do you? Oh, really? Well, I think your new helper here needs a guide. That's all the fishes. Well, no, I... By the eight, fine. Like a but lot only of to fishes. the edge of town. They should be... That's probably not a good place to keep them. <laughs> anyway, I want the to, to, to sell stuff. Some may call this junk. Me, yeah, I, I call, call them, them treasures. treasures. Okay. What do I not need? The great sword. You can have that. The dagger. Dagger of burning. Should I keep it? I will keep it to learn the enchantment. Staff of courage. Staff of frost. Amulet of Stendar. Because I'll sell these. These. This, I guess. Could have learned the enchantment from that, but. Sell everything that actually weighs stuff, you know. Golden guts. Damn, I won't sell them because they will be useful. But like they weigh a lot. This I can sell. Okay, you're out of gold, my good friend. Till next time. We have to go through town and across the bridge to get to Bleak Falls Barrow. Are you still ugly? You can see it from Actually here. Looks though. Better. The mountain just over the buildings. Now nah, first I have to. Those thieves must. Yeah, yeah, they're hiding. I'm Secret. hoping she'll wait we for have me. Company. Hadvar, why are you standing there on the floor? We've been so worried about you. Come, you two must be hungry. Sit down, and I'll get you something to eat. Now then, boy, what's the big mystery? What are you doing here, looking like you lost an argument with a cave bear? I don't know where to stop. You know I was assigned to General Tully as a skull. We were stopped in Helgen when we were attacked by a dragon. A dragon? That's ridiculous. You aren't drunk, are you, boy? Husband, let him tell his story. Not much more to tell. This dragon flew over and just wrecked the whole place. Mass confusion. I don't know if anyone else got out alive. I Why doubt I'd pushing it out me myself women? if not for my friend here. I need to get back to solitude and let them know what's happened. I thought you could help us out. Food, supplies, a place to stay. Of course. Any friend of Hadvar's is a friend of mine. I'm glad to help however I can. Like I said, I'm glad to help in any way I can. But I need your help. We need your help. And I will help you. Take the lockpick and the huge potions that he has. I'm gonna need. Not sure. I mean, might as well grab the food as well, cause like, I think there will be a point where when it will be the useful. Yarrow needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. We need to get word to Jarl Balgraf in Whiterun to send whatever soldiers he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. Take what you need, my friend. With can armor reason, my horse. Of course. I don't have a horse. Until Did next really time. So how does that work? I guess let's make our way to. 
Should I go straight to White Run? Nah, I think I'll go to Bleak Falls Barrel first. And the water looks so good, so good. Can't even speak. Again, I don't know how long this episode will be. I would like to keep it at maybe an hour and a half. Now. Yeah. Let's see, let's do one, two. The other things I can. Oh, I feel like I feel like my health is not regenerating. Anyway. Don't know if I'll fully explore Bleak Falls Barrow today. Because again, I'd like to keep it at an hour and a half, the episode, something like that. Because it's long, but not that long, you know? I mean, an hour and a half is a lot, but like... I don't know if I'm prepared to edit a three-hour episode, which I mean, I don't have a lot of editing to do. Just the audio, mainly. But still. Would anybody watch an episode that long is my question. Well, oh, you're weak. And you don't know how to use the bow. I will. Most definitely. To be honest, I don't know why I'm taking the arrows at this point, because probably won't be using them. Who said that? Who wants to die? You? Bad time to get lost. <laughs> Damn. I guess I'll take the shield. Hide bracers. Septums are still great sword. I like how the steel swords uh, look. They're giving me Witcher vibes, you know? And I like that. Definitely unique. And here we have Bleak Falls Barrow. Normally I would sneak up to this place, or at least try. But I mean, you know, they would obviously see me very fast. But since I'm using spells this time around... Whoa! I did not see you there. A fur kilt. Um, I was looking at her body freezing instantly. Well, my destruction is definitely increasing faster. Sometimes I don't know if I should cut out the loading screen or not. You see a dead body. And a dead skiver. Oh, dead bandit. Did his own kill him? Oh, that still works. Looks nice. Now it feels a little bit too easy <laughs> compared to that, you know, mod that I started the game with basically. What did I take? A loot? No, what's the flute? I did install a mod which added different lock picking interfaces, so we'll see how that works.
Why the hell are the potions so huge in my inventory, you know? Like, I don't understand that. Do I have a torch, perhaps? Did I pick it up anywhere? I didn't. What's the... Why the... I won't ask. Probably from the mud. Oh, not supposed to go that way. Hopefully it's not too dark on camera because I can see one. I mean, sometimes I mean I'm even looking at my OBS screen <laughs> to see where to go because it's so dark. I love ENBs, but damn, I know the realism aspect of that, but like sometimes it's just too freaking dark. Have a thousand. Oh, a torch, nice. Let's favorite it and equip it. I'll do number eight for the torch. Oh, much nicer. So we have a snake, a snake, and what's over there? I can't see. A whale. Snake, snake, whale. I forgot. I missed these things, I guess, in a way. Snake, snake, whale. Where is the fin? There we go. Thief! Skeevers are strong, but they have a lot of health. Fireballs, cool. Is, is someone coming? Is that you, hot thing? Bjorn, the ring. Card of Arms, three. You have found a fate card. These cards are grouped into decks of 13 cards of the same type when you possess at least one of each card of the type and use any of the cards from that set in your inventory. One of each card of that set will combine to form a deck which will provide special powers, skills, and abilities while discarded in your inventory. Ooh, nice. Iron reinforced armor. So right now I'm wearing heavy armor, right? Those light armor. I guess let's put that on for now. It's not like it makes me slower, like in uh, Oblivion, you know? You know what? I should reveal that. Oh, you're not that strong. I've been poisoned. Oh, that's right. I should find a way to. Come on, I'll beat you up with my sword. Maybe I'll actually do Bleak Falls Barrel fully today. I mean, it's not that big of a place. You! Over here! Oh, sorry, I can't stop my flames. Oh my god, you're going to burn. Oh. <laughs> now we found the dragon claw. Arvel's journal. My 
fingers are trembling, the golden claw is finally in my hands, and with it the power of the ancient northern heroes. That fool Luke and Valerius had no idea that his favorite store decoration was actually the key to Bleak Falls Barrow. Now I just need to get to the Hall of Stories and unlock the door. The legend says there is a test that the Nords put in place to keep the unworthy away, but that's when you have the golden claw, the solution is in the palm of your hand. Oh, really? Is it? Oh, I forgot about this area. Oh, this jogger has iron boots. Oh, I leveled up actually. Huh. Let's do magic at this time around, and maybe I should do dual casting for a tad bit damage. Coming out of all of the places. Should I do three maybe? While my magic regenerates, let's use a sword, I guess. Oh god, oh god, oh god, I, I can't. Had to stop there. Sword is really good against them, I guess. <laughs> At least the regular ones. I feel like I have to make the torches brighter somehow, cause like, you'd think a torch would give much more light, you know what I mean? Cause like right now... Card of Builders too. And uh, again... Uh, a huge potion. Ooh, I made them moving actually, so that's a nice detail. I love moths. To be honest, I guess playing Skyrim without mods wouldn't be the same, like, I mean, it's still a great game, you know? And I would enjoy it a lot, but... It's definitely better with them. Now there should be a chest or something down here. Oh, 
At least I found some gold. Time is at 4 p.m. That's why it's probably getting very dark. Fall Sanctum, so we're getting close. I'm assuming this episode will be hella long, but I hope everybody will enjoy it. Like that. Come on, step in the flames. Do it, you don't look too smart. I mean, you are a dead thing, so a zombie basically. So it shouldn't surprise me. Yeah, finally. Okay, let's see. Where's the gold claw? Bear him off, and then now. Is that the creepy gate opened? I mean, Bleak Falls Bear isn't a huge dungeon, I guess, so we did it really quickly, I think. Forest, anyway, I think forest. Been kind of half unlocked. Now let's do some damage to him while he's climbing out of his tomb or whatever. Don't you fuso dami. One second. I'm not wearing my helmet, so I guess I don't really need it to be honest. So I should get myself a hood. Magic increase on that, that would be nice. Card of Shadows 5. Hide boots of resist frost. Can I carry the I am over encumbered? God damn it, let's see what I can could I put it away? Okay, great. Because once I make my way to White Run, I can finally learn some enchantments, which will be nice. You know, so I don't want to sell the enchanted items. 
Unless I actually know the enchantments of them, you know, for them, I don't know. The enchantments that they have can talk. Which will make, you know... Oh wait, there's a chest somewhere over here. Yeah, once I learn those enchantments, obviously I will sell the items. If I find the same ones. Yeah, finally. We're back outside. Okay, let's go quickly to Riverwood. Give back the claw. I like the glowing signs, actually. I don't know why. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Why are they glowing? Let's see here. I have a letter here for you. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Riches beyond imagining. I found these words inscribed in ancient dwarven ruins in the Reach. I believe they mark the entrance to a forgotten city. My brother went in a few days ago and hasn't returned. I need someone I can count on to go in after him and bring him back alive. I've heard great things about you, which is why I'm asking for your help. I'll be waiting for you in the ruins. Please hurry. And remember, riches beyond imagining. Cassia. Okay, that's from Ahmad, I'm assuming. That was just lying around? Good find. What? You just get... I don't know what to say. The sooner you find I have the, the golden claw. claw. You found it! <laughs> there it is! Strange. It seems smaller than I remember. <laughs> Funny thing, huh? Your hair is glitching out. Back where it belongs. I'll, I'll never forget this. You've done a great thing for me and my sister. Thank you so. Some may call this junk. Me, I call it. See, he has treasures. enough gold to buy stuff from me. I know he only has five coins, four coins, whatever. Till next time. Okay then. But I will end the so episode much to here. The claw back where it belongs. Thank you. I don't care. I have to walk further away for you to. Ooh, this guy looks amazing. So we'll end the episode here then. In the next one, we'll go to White Run. We'll go do the main it's quest up day. until. I don't care about you, Camilla. Up until I um, unlock my shouts and whatever. And then me. we'll see what we We're will the do. the only people around who aren't complete fools. Yes, Luke, and I agree. So anyway, I do hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please like and subscribe and consider following me somewhere on my social media. I don't know if it will be on the screen or in the description. I can't speak. Anyhow, I'll see you all in the next episode. I hope you have a great day and rest of the week. Goodbye.